with our men's team currently being out in Saudi Arabia training ahead of coming back here next Monday against West Ham at St James's Park. This weekend is highlighted towards our women's team. And I'm going to be honest, you look at that league table. First off, probably one of the best leagues I've actually seen. Eight teams easily go up. And I think it's a disservice to Newcastle that we are seventh. I, I can't believe we are seventh in this table. Now, I've watched Newcastle at the majority of the whole matches and i watched us away at Sunderland. The matches I've seen us play, I think the castle is more than good enough to be winning this league. Honestly, I think we are good enough to go up this season. It's the fine margins and it's the, probably the lack of experience we've had in this division where it's cost us. Last two home games, Charlton and Durham, we've dropped five points against the pair of them. And both those teams, of course, are both in the league and matches where we should have come to be won. So today against Southampton, with all due respect, a team that's probably going to struggle here at St James's Park. Newcastle has got to get back on form and make sure we can just get some wins going. We've always dropping points. We've dropped some powerful points at Bristol City in our last game. So going at this one, we just need to gather some momentum, gather some form, and once Newcastle get going, Newcastle can, can still easily go up, my opinion. I honestly think this league is potentially ours, which, which is mental when you think about it, because this is a team that was playing fourth division football two seasons ago. Whether we do it this season or not, regardless, I think Newcastle are looking good. This women's team is seriously going to places, and... I've been intrigued to see how to do it today and we're intrigued to see how many people turn up at St James's Park because it's a bit quiet, I'm going to be honest, it's a bit quiet today especially with our national team are playing again at 5pm so I'm intrigued to see how this game's going to go Let's head inside now, we're in the media section today so we'll show you the behind the scenes footage Make sure if you're new around here to get down there, hit that subscribe button Every single match this season with the men will be at and of course we'll try and get as many women's games as possible but again, it can be a bit subjective of how uh, our fixtures are Finally for me, Thursday we will be in London FCA's, the Football Content Awards of some of the world's biggest football content creators and I've been nominated in three finalists. We are in three different categories this year so I'm excited for that and we'll show you content again during the week so appreciate your support. Enjoy the video, however, the lasses. White stairs, you go up the stairs and then you go straight. Just sat down in the media seat now, you can see the girls are currently out training. History at St James's Park, six times the women's team's been here, won every single time. Their last one was even a win against AC Milan, albeit yes, on penalties, but a win is still a win and they are going at their seventh match today. Both of you are going to continue this streak because next time we are at St James's Park will be next year against Sunderland in the time we are Derby and that is the one where we need to maintain our streak and go 8-0. I'll tell you what, today, uh, potential possibility to keep pushing on. As for the crowd today, so yeah, it does look like it's, it's far less than what it usually is. So that section is normally always open for the women's team, but it looks like today, Southampton fans there uh, will split at the corner. So we have our East Stand open, um, the bottom half of the Gallagher. But to be honest, I'm intrigued to see what the attending figures are, but I reckon it's maybe 12, 13,000. I actually think I might be below the stadium light attendance. So we'll see if I'm correct in saying that, but I'm... I'm not confident we're going to beat the attendance record today. And right now, the pitch side where Georgia Gibson is receiving a special award from Implements Football Supercoming and manager Becky Langley mocking her 100th appearance for Newcastle United Women. Well done, Georgia! It's here in Georgia Gibson receiving a special award
Southampton that I can't lie that's a horrible goal from us to concede so basically Claudia Moore our goalkeeper has the ball at her feet she hasn't realised someone's pressing her tackle goal no, it's that simple oh, it's, to be fair Southampton even in the first five minutes sort of the game has been on the pressing's been quite high they've been aggressive goal as well Newcastle's just been caught out and again we said it this season we've got two stupid goals and that was a stupid goal for us to concede so yeah uh, that, was, that was a horrible start of this game but Plenty of time, lasses. Come on, let's just get into the game and let's just gather some momentum and get going. There you have it, half time, the cast night in now, Southampton won. That has to be the most frustrating half I've seen from our women's team this season. It's just been I think Southampton just have been better than us, to be honest. They've had a lot of chances to score the goal where they oh, we just gave them a goal, basically. But since that, Southampton, especially playing the ball through the middle, they're quick, they're fluid. I think they've been better at playing the ball around Newcastle have. And they've had a few chances where Claudio Moore, to be fair to her, uh, made a couple of top draw saves that's kept Newcastle in this game. But the reality being, we probably should be losing at half-time. Newcastle's had a couple of opportunities. Katie Barker's hit the bar for us, good chance from her. Uh, Sean had a chance for the goal, hits it straight to the goal. Yeah, probably should have scored that. Take the two chances out of the game. Newcastle hadn't had anything in Southampton. For me, I'd be a better team, which is frustrating because this is our, one of our two matches at St James' Park this season. These are the games that we've got, we've got to do well in, we've got to turn it, and we've got to outplay these teams. And to be honest, I think we deserve to be losing. So going in a half time, the questions do have to be asked. Newcastle, especially in front of goal, we out of the eight teams, so we've got eight teams in this league where all of them can go up. Newcastle's the lowest scoring team out of those eight teams, and I don't think that's a coincidence. We didn't score against Bristol City in our last game, we haven't scored so far today. We just haven't been that good in front of goal this season. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, second half, we can get back into the game. Still can come to be get a result out of this game. We've just got to take the Southampton. We need to test the goalkeeper. We need to get more shots and goal. We just need to, need to put a bit of pressure on them. Oof, 11 fouls, that's rough, man. Our lowest attended game at St James Park before today was 22 fouls, and that's actually half of our one in the fourth tier of English football. So, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, it's just been a way lower attendance. But then again, I look at the scoreline, look at the way Newcastle's played, I don't think it would be that, that great. 98th minute. The ball has ricocheted about 10 different places inside the box, and Newcastle has scored. And basically the last minute of the game, there was a massive penalty appeal before that. To be fair, on a Southampton point of view, um, there were, we were most definitely parking the bus time wasting, and you can just see the reaction on the Southampton and they are fume with that one. But to be honest, uh, I think it's been a game of two halves. I can't see any castle that hasn't deserved the goal because we've had that many chances where oh, I think if we hadn't scored today, I think it would have been a, almost a crime to say otherwise. But yeah. Uh, Equalizers there 60 seconds ago. I think we've got a result here. Well, then what the Cassie United in the 98th minute of St James Park has kept the unbeaten streak alive. The streak survives in the final minute. And Newcastle are now 6-1-0 at St James' Park for our women's team, which is a phenomenal record. Going into this game though against Southampton, this is a team that, yeah, Southampton to be fair, much better than what I gave them credit for in the intro, but still a match, especially the home games, we've got to win the home games. Not to mention we have to play these away. Now playing Southampton away is no easy feat, so when you have an opportunity to do so, especially at St James' Park, only twice this season we will play at this stadium. Got to take the opportunity when we have it. And to be fair to them, um, much, much better second half. I think Becky won 4 2 4, Kate Barker. A bit further behind Sean on the first talk, puts two strikers and just makes sure that well, our women's team got as many opportunities as they get. But one thing I will say in front of goal, we have got to have 
one of the worst conversion rates I've seen in a long time. We just don't take our chances in front of goal. Uh, it's been a, a problem throughout all the home games I've seen this season. I haven't actually seen Newcastle win a home game yet, so I don't know whether that's a bad jinx for me or what, but uh, we need to take chances when we get them. Uh, we've got a bit fortunate to get the goal at the end, but all be at absolute limbs in the Gallagher end. Uh, result was fair. I think the draw was the fair result coming out of this game. I can't say it wasn't deserved. I think you can't say, especially in that second half, pulled their finger out, went for it. And uh, on our day, could have got a second couple of goals from that one. So it's still frustrating, still, in my opinion, two points dropped in the context that we need to win these home games. But based on how the game went, I think the draw is the fair scoreline. Southampton are livid coming out of that. It's just. It was good for Newcastle to get that result just at the end uh, to keep our uh, keep our confidence levels high and just make sure that going into the next few matches uh, things are looking good. But yeah, press conference time now as I'm intrigued to speak to Becky after the game. Uh, I'd love to hear what she has to say about that. But yeah, uh, draw for Newcastle, 99th minute, equaliser, oh, wow. Seventh time Newcastle United women's actually played at St James's Park. We're on being those seven games, so like to start off, just how's it feel just being so comfortable uh, being able to play in front of tens of thousands of fans and making sure we always get a result every time? Yeah, that was something I definitely didn't want us to lose. I wanted to make sure that we're still unbeaten um, at the stadium, uh, at, I can't speak, at St James's Park. Um, and yeah, it's just something that's really important to me. Then when we go to the likes of the stadium alike or to St Andrews are really competitive as well so I think yeah it means so much to myself and the players to be at you know St James's Park and, and showcasing ourselves to the fans in, in great numbers so yeah I'm delighted that is you know we're still unbeaten um, obviously I much prefer it to have been a win but I think we'll take a point against a good Southampton side. With what you and the person that you've seen up before but just how does it feel seeing your players now we get all these displays from war flags? Yeah, it was brilliant. I thought when we walked out and saw the, the flags, it was so special. And I know that have meant so much to, as you say, Georgia Beck and the Grace Donnelly with the retro goalkeeping shirt. It was brilliant. Um, Katie Barker, the one on the left as we came out. So, yeah, I think the girls are just, you know, so appreciative of that. They're buzzing and, um, yeah, it just makes them feel empowered going on the pitch, seeing the support. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video today. It's a pleasure, as always, to come in the media sections to cover Newcastle United women's team. Good point on the board, and we've scored in the last minute at St James's Park. You can never write that one off, but of course, the next time it will be at St James's Park is with the men's team next week as we take on West Ham. As for the women's team, they have Liverpool in the WSL on Sunday, so a WSL side basically in a a cup match but it's like a league format it's but we had to explain but we have got a top class WSO team in the next match where we can just test our players out and just see how we cope but as for today apart on the board could have been better could have been worse I'm not going to complain hope you guys enjoy watching and we'll see you all for the next one